these are the tomatoes and pepper mix this is actually a big basket of tomatoes it is best to do this when tomatoes are in season so that you can buy at a very affordable price i have already washed these off camera so be sure to wash yours as well before you proceed so let me give you guys an up close view over here we have the tomatoes we have the bell pepper also called tatashe in nigeria you guys already know the drill we have to remove the seeds before washing to prevent any bitter taste we have the chili pepper called shombo and lastly we have the scotch bonnet pepper so this is just too big for me to blend at home so i'll be taking it to the mill for grinding one of the items you will be needing to make the tomato paste is a sack bag a muslin bag also works well for this once you grind the tomato mix you pour them into a sack bag or a muslin bag and allow the water to drain off before you transfer into the kitchen sink i usually let mine stay overnight another item you will be needing to preserve the tomato paste is a breakable bottle and for this i'm using a mayonnaise bottle this is a great way to reuse these bottles you would have to wash the bottles and its covers so that it is squeaky clean I take it a step further by boiling the bottles and its covers in order to kill any germs that might cause the tomato paste to sour. I boiled this for about 10 minutes. At this point, the bottles are ready to be used. Once the tomato paste is completely drained, I transfer into a pot and cook on low heat to prevent burning. Once it is properly heated, I open the pot and leave open until the water dries completely. Once it dries properly, you transfer the tomato paste inside the bottles this actually took me 10 bottles After that, you coat the cover with some oil before closing. I put it back inside the pot of boiling water and boil for another 10 minutes. And then your tomato paste is ready. You can just keep this on your kitchen shelf and it can last for up to a year without freezing or refrigerating. If you have any reason to open this bottle without finishing its contents, you can just put the bottle with the remaining tomato paste in a pot of boiling water and boil for another 10 minutes before returning to the kitchen shelf. So there you have it guys 
we have come to the end of today's video bye